The Four Noble Truths Bikas and friends, imagine a single floating ring drifting randomly in the great oceans. Imagine also a blind turtle swimming about, which surfaces only once every 100 years. What do you think, Bikas, would that blind turtle by chance often dive right up under this randomly drifting single ring and insert its neck into this half meter wide hole? If it ever would happen at all, sir, it would only happen after an incredibly long time. Yet, Bikas and friends, I tell you, that this would happen sooner, than a fool, who has fallen into the lower levels of existence, would again regain his rare human state. Why so? Because down there exists neither behavior guided by the Dhamma, nor any honesty, nor any morality, nor any kindness, nor any opportunity for meritorious action. There prevails only this evil, paint or be beaten, eat or be eaten, cruel merciless killing and voraciously swallowing up of any weak being. Why is it so wildly permitted there? Because, because, down there nobody have understood these four noble truths. What for? 1. All this is suffering. 2. This greedy craving is the sole cause of all suffering. 3. No craving is the end of suffering. 4. The Noble Eightfold Path ends all suffering. First Noble Truth Now this, because, is the Noble Truth of suffering. Birth is suffering, aging is suffering, illness is suffering, death is suffering. Union with what is displeasing is suffering. Separation from what is pleasing is suffering. Not to get what one wants is suffering. In brief, the five aggregates subject to clinging are suffering. Second noble truth. Now this, because, is the noble truth of the origin of suffering. It is this craving which leads to re-becoming, accompanied by delight and lust, seeking delight here and there. That is, Craving for sensual pleasures, craving for becoming, craving for disbecoming. Third Noble Truth Now this, because, is the noble truth of the cessation of suffering, it is the remainderless fading away and cessation of that same craving, the giving up and relinquishing of it, freedom from it, non-reliance on it. Fourth Noble Truth Now this, because, is the noble truth of the way leading to the cessation of suffering, it is this noble eightfold path. That is, right view, right intention, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness and right concentration.